Welcome to the wonderful world of Alpha 20. If you caught the stuff that I was doing over the streamers weekend, this is going to be a different series, and there are a variety of reasons for that, and I'll get into them momentarily. For right now, just know that, yes, I am going to punch things and pick up rocks for the moment, because there are a few quest things that I want to take care of, just so we can kind of see what they look like, because honestly, when I was playing this on the streamers weekend, I kind of had things broken, because I had some mods installed that broke things, so I didn't get the starting quest, so, you know, just just for the giggles. Let's go ahead and do that. So, you might notice right away that my backpack is larger than usual. That's because Kane has updated his bigger backpack mod to be compatible with Alpha 20, and I immediately installed it because that was the correct thing to do. Go ahead and pick that up, move along, and then let's go ahead and empty our things here so we can start doing all the things. We need to make a stone axe, and then we're going to need to make a club. And we'll need to make a variety of other things, and that'll be fine. So make some pants, make some shirts. Let's find some more stones. The list of changes in Alpha 20 is about three and a half miles long. Maybe maybe longer than that. Actually, I'm not even sure. If you haven't read the changes and you are at all inclined to find out about them, then go do yourself a favor and read them, because you can ask someone to give you all the changes, and they can't, and if they do, they're insane for doing so, because they, they really shouldn't. You you should go do your own homework. So, anyway, moving through here, the main thing that we're going to look at right away is the change to Random World Gen, and it looks like this one, interestingly enough, doesn't have any of the, the roads in it that you're probably going to see a little later elsewhere. I had to guess... I find this very interesting because I haven't seen this sort of thing yet. This is indeed a brand new world that I created just for this series. So the world and the game save that we were using on the stream, I'm not going to use that in part because we ended up playing on Twitch and I was using the integration there and that was a lot of fun, but it also meant that I ended up with a lot of things that I probably shouldn't really have had access to because when the viewers were not trying to kill me, they were being very kind and giving me things that basically meant I had extra food and ammunition, weapons, explosives, books, I mean, all sorts of things, you name it. I mean, I even had some bicycle parts, which, I mean, come on. Come on, do I have the best viewers or what? Come on. But, no, it's cool. I probably don't need to rehash that save with all the stuff in it, in part, because what I want to do here is have a series, oh goodness, that is truly solo, because that's that's usually what I do, is I just do a solo series. So in the interest of keeping everything nice and clean and separated and um, I don't know, any of that sort of whatever random stuff, here we are. Let's go ahead and make some frames because we're supposed to do that, and we'll just make as many of those as we can, because we are going to want as many as possible, basically. Go ahead and grab a little more extra wood. I'm just kind of doing it the cheap way right now. Gives me a chance to look for more of these, too. Oh, eggs is good. Eggs is good. Yes, I, I realize what I said there. Eggs is good. We're going to stay away from the biker guy for the time being, and we'll just kind of hang out more over in this area for now. Let's go ahead and put this frame down. We need to upgrade that. And I'm just going to leave it right there, believe it or not. I think we might need a few more stones to be able to make the campfire. And technically, we have enough. That's fine. But just the same, I'm going to go ahead and chop a few down because we are going to need more. Just grab, like, five stones out of that, and then we'll grab this one, and that'll be sufficient. So let's go ahead and put our campfire down, and I think that's going to be the end of the starter quest. And we'll just put it right there. Perfect. Locate the trader. Trader is nearby. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Um, traders, right over here. Oh, we're gonna go over here then. Scratch that whole idea of avoiding that guy. We are going over here. Uh, let's scrap that. We'll take those. Actually, you know what? You can probably sell that ten clay anyway. That's fine. We're gonna start off by going through and doing some early quests, and I do want some cotton because we're going to need to make some bandages here just to make sure that we are 
nice and ready to go for the inevitable scratch, cut, whatever. Okay, while you are sleeping, let's go ahead and make a spear. And we'll just go ahead and power attack him a little bit. It's going to be our first real experience of the game. There we go. A thousand experience for doing that. I should tell you, too, that I'm playing more or less on vanilla settings. Big differences are loot is not respawning at normal frequency. It respawns every 50 days. That's the maximum that you can set within the, the settings. There's probably a way to modify the XML to make that go longer, but I don't really have any interest in doing that. I'm fine with that. And then I have airdrops set to show when they come in. And I think that's about it. I think everything else is standard. Drop everything on death. Uh, the blocks, the land claim blocks, I increased the size of that so we have bigger coverage. Here we can see some of the different roads. This is the sort of stuff I was really looking forward to showing you. Because I've seen these roads and I hadn't really seen the old fashion road that we just saw. Holy crap, dude. That's amazing because that is, I mean, that's a pretty significant upgrade at this stage of the game. Like, it really is. That's kind of a big deal. Let's go see where the trader, the door to the trader is. Oh, you're on the other side. Interesting. Okay. Go ahead and reload this. Here we go. One whole arrow. Oh, you're on the other, other side. Okay, got it. I think, did I just run all the way around? Pretty much did. Okay, good. Could have gone the fast way. Didn't. And then, oh, I blew right past that door. All right. So, which trader do we have? Speak, trader Bob. This is the new Trader Bob. I hadn't seen Trader Bob since he changed. It is the new Trader Bob. Do you have any quests? We'll do a tier one fetch because it is literally right down the street. 100 meters. I'm even going to leave his door open because it's going to be fine. Let's go this way and let's go knock out a quest. My intention today is to do some quests. Arrows, let's favor that. We'll make some of those. And to see if we can, you know, get some stuff. Ideally, I'd like to get us a pipe weapon or two so that we're not totally out of sorts when everything comes along and we need to be able to do better damage to things. Not sure if that'll happen specifically. Oh, the other thing that I have set that's non-standard is I do have increased experience. So I'm running the base experience curve, which is just awful, by the way. But I am running more experience just because... Um, come back. Okay. This chicken is determined to get away, even in death. It still fears me. Okay. Anyway, I was going to say, I prefer the experience to come in a little faster because that supports my playstyle and the amount of time I have to play. However you choose to play, that is up to you, and I will not criticize you for it. Be kind. Give me the same courtesy, please. Okay, we are not going to be doing a double clear today. Bong. Instead, we're just going to be doing a regular single clear. Hey, look at that. Vehicle Off-Road Headlights Mod Schematic. Vehicle mods are now a thing. Oh, look at that. AK-47 Schematic. That... Potentially... Oh, wow. That is great right there. Let's put that on. AK. Uh, if we had some machine gun parts, force iron, duct tape, scrap polymers, and springs, we could just make our own AK. I'm going to bet you that in the time it would take to collect all of those materials, we can buy one faster. That is my hunch. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff already. Let's go ahead and wear the hat. Let's wear the puffer coat. Might end up being a little too warm with that coat. I'm not sure yet. We should probably make some more... Let's see, let's make uh, sh shoes and gloves. And then we have pretty much the other stuff covered. I guess, I don't know, I mean, the hat, I'm probably better off with the hood than the hat. So we'll do the hood. Yeah, let's do the... Oh, we probably run out of things to make them with. We don't have enough to do the hood. Where's the hood? Plant fiber hat and hood. Yeah, we need one more plant fiber. That's fine. Not going to sweat it right now. We'll just go ahead and move on. We can worry about that when we're done in here. Okay, so this is a fetch quest, and the fetch is going to be right here. Where are you? 
they're, they're somewhere nearby. One of the things that's different about Alpha 20 is it's a little darker. I believe that has to do with the lighting model. So what you're probably going to see as we move along is I'm going to occasionally bump up the brightness because for me, it's just a little too dark. And I'm concerned that if it's too dark for me, it's probably too dark for you. And I'm usually willing to play with it pretty dark just for the sake of ambiance. Okay, there's our first supply of leather. That's going to be critical for, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is amazing. It's going to be critical in the very near future. There's another pipe. That's excellent. We'll take all of the pipes I can get in the early days. That one does have the Working Stiff logo on it. I don't remember. Is that normally a thing? I don't remember. In fact, I feel like I want to increase the brightness already. It's 10 a.m. and I can barely see in here. I mean, I can see, but... I can barely see in here. It just has to do with how lighting works in this game now. I mean, it looks good, but it's just too dark. It's just too dark for me. It doesn't really fit my my preferences. Let's back up because there might be someone in between there. Nope. There is a purse back there. Which means there is... Oh no, it's trash. Never mind. It's trash. Oh, clothes pile. That could be good. I'll take a helmet. I mean, kind of tempted. We'll just go ahead and put that on right now because I was going to make a, a padded helm. Go ahead and put that on. I'm good with that. Madam, is this your medical practice? You work out of this bathroom? Oh, wow. She just tanked a lot of shots there. Lots and lots of spoiled stuff if we wanted it, but really don't right now. It's just too early to do anything with it. Shoes! All right, go ahead and wear the shoes. Those are going to be better than the ones we're not wearing because I forgot to put them on. Minor details. We'll get there eventually. Uh, go ahead and take the paper boy cap. That's fine. Okay, so we have been through this place now. And we can go upstairs and then we'll have to figure out where the, the thing is downstairs. Oh, my bad. That's going to break. That's going to break. Most of this is going to break. Ah, oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Hi, cat. How you doing? If you'll sit down... Nope. She's not inclined. Hi. Don't walk across the keyboard. Appreciate that. You. Let's knock you down, too. One at a time, guys. One at a time. These are the new Burning Man models. or the new Burnt Man. Look at that. Um. Um. No, wear that. The buttons changed, I think, to equip things or something. I don't know. Seems like they did. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. Here, we can drop that. We don't need that anymore. Oh, we don't have any stones. That's a problem. All right, let's get back upstairs and try not to fall down. Ah, goodness. This whole place is just a nightmare. Three floors of nightmare action. Okay. I mean, we got some pretty good loot out of it, so I'm not mad at it. It's just... Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare. Blood bag. Oh, look at that. We got a pipe baton. We got our first pipe weapon. That's going to replace the club, and that'll be a nice, solid upgrade in place of the club. Uh, we'll take the Sam. I'm going to leave the other thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the pipe baton. If you have not seen any of the pipe weapons yet, 13.8 damage, 55 attacks per minute. 15.1 damage, 38 attacks per minute. So a little slower, but a little more damage. I mean, I guess there's probably a case to be made to just go ahead and keep the club. Because, you know, the damage is pretty darn close, and the number of attacks you get is uh, fairly significantly more. But... I'm okay with doing this because I want to show you the new stuff. So we'll scrap that and scrap that. That's fine. We don't need those. Let's go back downstairs. And we need to figure out where the thing is. Oh, there we go. Excellent. That is our first glue. That is also important, as you will soon discover. Okay, so we need to go downstairs. So let's just go ahead and fall. Where is this? It's right in here somewhere. Right there. Literally right above me when I was... Seeing the nurse, I... Um, yep. 
That was just a panic attack to stun him. Let's go ahead and beat him with this guy. There we go. Excellent. So, we can get out of here. We have successfully completed our first quest. We're going to go turn it in right away. And we've got some points to spend, so we're going to do that before we turn this in, I think. There are a ton of new POIs in this version. There's lots of new things. Lots of new blocks and lots of new decorations. I mean, the theme with Alpha 20 is lots and lots and lots. I mean, really, that's kind of the theme. It's just lots. Lots of new stuff. All sorts well, of things. Do do, Before we talk to you, let us go ahead and do Daring Adventurer. That's going to give us one more quest reward, and we get a small amount of extra dukes. We'll take Better Barter, because I'm just going to say I'm good with that right up front. And then we're going to spend the rest of our points all in stuff that'll make combat and harvesting in the early days a little better. Whatever you need, just say the word. This is an interesting conundrum. My inclination is to take the ammo, but I'm going to go ahead and take the book for right now. And there's a reason for that. Namely that we're going to get enough ammo that I'm not too concerned about it right now. I mean, we have some pistol ammo anyway, so we're not exactly hurting, but I don't know. I mean, I think we're okay and we don't necessarily need to take the ammo now. We can't really use it yet, although we're going to. That's the thing. So let's go run over to this place and let's see if we can run this one right quick. I'm very interested in trying to just bust through a couple of quests today where possible. Okay, so the pipe baton, in case you were wondering, is basically a tonfa. If you don't know what a tonfa is, think of a nightstick or American police. And you'll almost never see them used the way they're supposed to be used. Like that. Instead, they're always used like that. Yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of cool. I like that. I mean, obviously, you can, you know... Uh, don't... Uh, wrong button. Okay. I say, it doesn't really matter. You can use them either way, and it's fine. It's just... I don't know. I like seeing them swing like that. It's cool. It's like, that's that's the cool it's the cool way to do it, right? It's the cool way. Check out all these different things we have going on now. I mean, got a fire hydrant here. The guardrails. You got the curbing. The road turns over there and the paint follows it. Stop signs. Street signs right at the corner of Hewning and Cortland. I mean, it's just awesome. Random Gen is really really good now. And I mean that. It, it was okay before. It was acceptable. It didn't really add anything, though. It does now. It genuinely adds something to the game now. The game is better because of Random Gen. If you don't ever play Random Gen and you only play in Nava's Gain then I implore you, give Random Gen a whirl now. Give it a whirl. It's really good. Oh, that is excellent right there. We'll take that, because that's a good chunk of money. Oh, I totally missed. That's a shame. Okay. Just going to back off a little bit here. And then that's one of the other new things. Zombies ducking. That was a duck, by the way. That wasn't a crawl. That was a duck. It was a duck. That was a goose. That's not a duck. That's a goose. But that was a duck. Okay. Up here, we shall drop down into the POI. This is a fetch quest, and it looks like downstairs is where we need to be. Check the trash. Check the trash. Oh, that is excellent. All those pipes are great. So, before we go any further, let us go ahead and make a pipe pistol. Hey, I need that. A cat is playing with my mouse, which... I mean, here, let me let me try something and see if this will work. Can I do that? Yeah, she can. you can see her right there. She's playing with my mouse. So, knock that off. Appreciate that. So, we have our first firearm of the game. Take a look at this thing. If you haven't seen these yet, look at this. It is really good looking. And you can see as I'm reloading it here, it's got some kind of scratching carving on it. You can see all the nuts and bolts and screws and the just, I think that's a, maybe it's a drill bit. 
like a screwdriver end for the iron sight. I'm not sure, but it's just really, really good stuff. That floor right there is going to break, so I don't want to stand on that. That right there is the new hazmat guy. Look at him, man. Look at him. Oh, holy crap. The game just, like, totally barfed for a second there. Oh, um... Alright, we need to start shooting because I need to repair weapons. And let's go and switch to... Cat. You're not helping anything. I'm just going to ask you to leave. Thank you very much. You're not allowed to be there to begin with, and you're definitely not allowed to be there pulling my mouse cable around. It's not okay. It's not okay. You know, let's go ahead and jump over this. And we can get in here. It's going to take a pipe to repair that. So there you go. All nice and repaired. And just for the giggles, because we can do it... Oh no, we can't. We need more leather. Never mind. Well, when we can, we'll do something for the giggles. Come on, toilet pistol. No toilet pistol. I don't know if toilet pistols are still a thing. I'm not clear about that. That's probably in the patch notes somewhere. I'll be honest, I didn't read every single change. I read the main stuff. I didn't go in the line-by-line -line list of literally everything that changed. That was... That was a little too much for me. I think we need to drop some stuff here. We are encumbered. Which, that's always an inevitability for me. I'm trying my best. Oh, that grill is going to be super handy. Not to spend any points on Pack Mule, because inevitably what I'm going to do is I'm going to be like, eh, I'll spend some points on Pack Mule. It's fine. I mean, usually I'll just spend one point. And I'll be like, eh, I mean, we can always respec later. And then I'll never respec. So, just trying to, to be aware of that, that generally... I'll say I'll do something, and I usually don't. It's just, it's, eh, I got other things to worry about. So, downstairs, this is where our package is going to be, is somewhere down here. I mean, I guess we'll take that. We have no use at this point for iron arrowhead, or uh, steel arrowheads, rather. Okay, and there's the package. I see it. It's right under there. Go ahead and grab the satchel there. Okay. And I'm inclined right now to grab everything I can, because we're probably just either going to drop it or sell it back to the trader. And I'm fine with that. The way I'm planning to play, in terms of the trader... How you doing? Is, if I find something I'm inclined to play with and want to buy, I shall. That's pretty much how I'm going to roll. So if the trader has something I want to buy, I want to do it. That's really awkward there. It makes it really hard to hit you. I hope there's an adjustment that gets made to the zombies that do that. It's not the first time I've seen them duck to get under a door. And it's really obnoxious. Like, you don't need to duck to get under the door. But apparently the zombie thinks he does. Or she does. I'm not sure which that one is. Hi, cat. How you doing? Come on in. Probably should have picked up all the lead earlier. It's fine. We got the supplies, so let's go back to the trader, turn in this quest, and see what sort of rewards we can get. How you doing? Need to make more arrows, too, so we'll get on that. Oh, look at her arm flailing around. Her right, or her left hand is uh, all dangly. That's one of the many upgrades in Alpha 20. They've uh, The devs have added a lot of ragdoll sort of stuff, I guess. I don't know that ragdoll is necessarily the right phrasing in this case, but, you know, it's kind of a, a free swinging, a free moving thing. Kind of like they did with uh, the, I don't know, former stripper zombie. They basically added boob physics for her in, I don't know, Alpha 19. So they've added similar types of physics for other zombies now, and thankfully it's not all just boob physics, although some might say that would be better. And... And that would be weird because it's a video game. And it's not really about that kind of thing. But I don't know. Whatever. I guess to each their own. I shouldn't be so judgy. I don't believe there are any other couches in here that are leather. This is kind of an annoying EOI to get out of because... I mean, I guess I can try to chop through this way. Man, this is going to be annoying. 
Well, let me uh, let me meet you over there. How about that? Because this is going to take a hot minute. Coming back to Trader Bob. Yeah, they still haven't even marked him on the map or checked for things. Oh, goodness. Spear Hunter Volume 1. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. 10% more damage with spears. Because I'll be using spears for the time being. I mean, in addition to other things, most likely. Buried supplies, buried supplies. We'll take one more fetch. I should tell you that I did find this book in the house. Uh, as I was leaving, there was uh, another junk pile that was in there. And, I don't know, whatever, some of this other random stuff here. Let's go ahead and sell you some things that we're not going to use. So you can buy that. And, I mean, I'm kind of tempted to sell those. We'll sell this guy, because I'm not going to use the, the leather ones. Those are not really worth my bother. Sell you all of those. We cannot sell you soil. That's fine. There's definitely stuff that we need to sell, so I'm not super concerned with all this crap I'm carrying at the moment. We do have 948 bucks. That's enough to potentially buy something. So I'll just take a quick look here. I mean, chances are I'm not going to be able to afford anything that's really useful. But, you know, just the same. Take a look. Bicycle chassis. I mean, there's a gyrocopter for 142,000. That's not too shabby. Padded boots. I mean, those not, you know... Weighted head mod, I mean, yeah, you know. I'll take any mods I can get because that just gives you uh, a better bad, shot baby. right up front of getting through things. So I guess all that remains to do is to see if any of these various uh, workbench type things work. And I'm going to guess that none of them will because that has been my luck so far with Alpha 20. Do, 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 do. Let's see, I forget where everything is hidden. In this particular EOI. I want to say there's some over here. Ding, 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 ding. Or just destroyed. Go ahead and take all the things. Probably just go back and sell him all the stuff that was in these. Cement mixer is destroyed. Okay. And I think that's everything. Have we found the chem station? There it is. Chem station is destroyed, but we got a beaker. And antibiotics out of that. I know I can't pick that up. I just, I see it and I want to. Wow. That's not a bad little take right there. Huh. A little campfire right there. I've never noticed that before. Maybe that's new. Okay, I'm going to sell the rest of this crap that I just picked up. I will join you on the next one as we continue our journey through... I forget what this is, like North Dorito County or something like that is the world we're playing in. Catch you that one. Tell them thanks for watching. See you later.